Today's smartphones and tablets are great for consuming information and communication, but what they still lack is the ability to type efficiently. Uh, one, one finger hunt and peck typing on the keyboard or docking the device on a, a stationary keyboard, you're kind of defeating the purpose of mobile technology. My name is Julie Harder. I'm a physical therapist, and right now I'm doing home care therapy. The problem is once we get going, and we might be going from the bedroom to the bathroom to work on the stairs to the garage, and we're kind of all over the place, so it doesn't always work to, you know, be taking the laptop with me and finding a place to type. Voice dictation doesn't work well for really the healthcare profession due to, you know, confidentiality and some of the things that we might be documenting about a patient might not be something that we want them to be hearing us say. And also it's a rapport issue. I don't always want to be, you know, having that between us. You know, a lot of times I just want to be hearing on and typing and listening to them so that they know I'm hearing their problems and I'm focused on them and their issues. I was sitting there at my desk one night and just picked my hands up off the keyboard and rotated them. And I thought, what if we could create a device where the keys remain in the same orientation so the muscle movement's the same, but by reorienting the hands, you can hold the device and actuate the keys at the same time. So it kind of evolved from there. Um, that night I went home, I created some key layouts on my computer and then printed them off and taped them to a book. And what I was trying to prove with that first concept was that you can look at something from the front and locate the key on the back. You don't have to see that physical key. So just that first prototype was kind of the beginning of the True Grip concept. The True Grip is a mobile text entry device that lets you type using the same muscle memory as a QWERTY keyboard. We call it Mobile QWERTY. What this device does is it doesn't change how you type, but it changes where you type. So where you might be working on emails or documents in the office, now you can work on those same things in a mobile setting. We have found that there's a learning curve. Um, everyone that we have tested it with and that has used it through our training program has learned it in about eight to 10 hours. If you're not a touch typist, there's an LED map on the front of the device that lets you see what you're typing as you type it. TrueGrip is more or less a mobile uh, data entry device that you can carry around wherever with you. So it's kind of a bridging the gap between uh, mobile devices, tablets, and laptops where they don't have keyboards, but this gives them that functionality. Um, so that way you can start using the phones and tablets out in the field. We've also put in a three-axis gyroscope, which will allow the user to control mouse movement by just tilting and turning the device. With both hands on the device all the time, you can type and navigate your software and use your mouse without your hands ever having to leave the device. Our goal in the short term is just to get people using this True Grip concept, get them to try it. For years, we've typed on flat keyboards and people have suffered with wrist pain and back pain and neck pain. In introducing this new paradigm, you just type differently. You can sit and relax on your couch. You can stand at your desk and type. You can walk around. You can sit in a coffee shop and dock your device. I mean, it just really changes so many things. So if we can achieve that, if we can get people to use the device, we can get them to try it, we think we really can introduce a new paradigm in typing. Yeah, this next round of development is really about dialing in on the aesthetics, making this thing look cool, and bringing a product to market that people want to use. That's really the key. We need people to use this product. We need people to start rear typing, trying this technology. And if we can build that momentum, we think there's all kinds of possibilities for this technology.